hi and welcome back to my channel i hope you've all had a really good christmas and time together with family or friends or whatever you do for christmas we had a quiet christmas but we spared no expense with the fun <laughs> we spent it with our two grand boys and um we had so much fun with them putting farm sets together and <laughs> rolling around on the floor wrestling and playing with their toys and <laughs> eating good food and just um, enjoying that time together. Our daughter um, came down a couple of days after Christmas which was really nice that was a surprise and um, got to spend a few days with her and her boyfriend and we um, yeah we messaged Ben in Moscow we were lucky enough because we couldn't post him anything for Christmas because of this war in the Ukraine but his um, flatmate came over to Melbourne and he he wrapped up a present to for her to bring here <laughs> which was a sneaky way of you know sending them a, a package and um, they came and they are just beautiful 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 quality camp mugs and this is written in um, Russian but it says the ocean is singing and the waves are calling and oh, I just melted my heart when I read that and you can see there's a right and a left-handed because Dave's left-handed I'm right-handed and um, so he really put some thought into this so these are going to go into our camper and then he put all these little beautiful chocolates in from from um, Moscow and he also put in some of this soap this soap he uses this Ben uses this soap I think it comes from Syria or somewhere like that but he gets it over there and it's all handmade they put it down on in the big floors in these rooms and they cut it all up by hand they cure it for months by hand and wrap it all like that and he loves this soap so um yeah gonna have a try of that so that was really nice to get this from ben we just miss him so much and they look like they're really good quality um camp mugs beautiful so that was a real surprise and that was really nice to get that from ben um so i hope you've all had a a great christmas and just enjoyed some time off dave hasn't had that much time off he got called out of quite a few times to um different jobs because of the crazy crazy um weather um electricity down and all that sort of stuff so he's been called out to a few emergency uh works work um calls like that so i haven't been i haven't been to the op shop and i'll show you i did go to the op shop and got a few things i'll show you them I got some of these and they'll be cool to put on something it is not a really nice size some of this fabric which is really interesting is this netting stuff this would be cool on something I like the colour of it too. And then there was this fabric, some blingy fabric. Got a few different colours of this blingy fabric. Um, what else? Oh, I got one book which I thought was nice The Most Colourful Frog in the World might just give this one to Asher to read because he loves he loves frogs I think the frog gets um, <laughs> mixed up in a paint tray or something you yeah, see yeah a colored paint tray so he might enjoy reading that different frogs here that's a nice picture of all the different ones. So I might give that to Asha. Yeah, um, my other daughter gave him, a, and her, her um, partner gave him a little book that comes out, and it 
lights up you know that you put near your bedside he loved that so I also got from the op shop just a bag of um like Christmas fabric scraps which I thought was cool just all little Christmas prints like someone's been making a little pattern so I thought they would be cool for next year to make something um, I went into spotlight um, and had a look in there oh, I like to go into spotlight after Christmas and see what sort of buttons they have on sale they always have interesting Christmas buttons and this time didn't disappoint either they only had one bag left but look at these I was putting that book aside aren't they cool they're Christmas leaves holly leaves and red buttons they're so cool I probably would have bought a couple of packets if they'd had some left, but they only had one bag left. But there's a lot in it. That was only a couple of dollars. So that's cool. I'll put them in a different bag, I think. Now, um, what else did I get from Spotlight? I bought this um, dual marker pen. And it is a really light grey colour. Now, when I do, um, I'll just let's see if I can show you what I mean. Oh, I can't find a scrap of paper. Anyway, um, when I do like stamp or um, do something like that, I like to use a really light grey marker to go around the outside of it to make a shadow and I had one in a Montmartre set but it's nearly run out because I've used it so much um, let me see if I can show you what I mean so if I'm if I've got a Let me try and uh, try and show you. Okay, so if I've got like a, um, just say that's a stamp. Bring it down a little bit. Just say that's a stamp. Then you can go. I'll put my glasses on. Then you can go around the outside of it like that. And make your shadow. Can you see? Oh, it's not the best example, but that's what you—that's what I use these light grey markers for. So I got that from Spotlight. Um, my daughter bought me these. They are—they're um, oh, for uh, my crochet, and they're like, um, you know, big darning needles but I like the ones with these fishing line type um, loops on the end you can see that I really like tying off with with them and spotlight had them back in so she got grab me a pack of them um, I also got from Spotlight on clearance were these um, Christmas sentiments. Just the Merry Christmas, Merry and Bright, Seasons Greeting, Happy Holidays, Tis the Season, Warm and Wishes, Warm Wishes, Joyous Noel and Happy New Year. And I thought, well, you know, like I said, I don't like buying many Christmas stamps, but that is the perfect thing. So that you could just, you know, stamp on the... Um, like the, oh, sorry, like the stamp, the cards that I made, and you can just pick which stamp and stamp it on there. 
and make it look a bit more professional than my um, handwriting but handwriting is still good too so I picked up that that was only a, a dollar or so 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 that um, I got these from spotlight these are four millimeter beads now I don't have any four millimeter beads I've got oodles of two millimeter beads so when I seen these I thought yeah I might grab them because they've got all the colors that you need in them and um, I'll put them up that way so they're a little bit bigger than the two millimeter which will come in handy for different things I'll grab them um what else is but like oh i grabbed another box to put some other beads in it was on special um now i've got a few things off timu this was i think it came just around christmas time this one so i've got this set of just um shapes you know like tag shapes and I've got this cool set of mushrooms. So they were nice. And then I got also got in that package one of these. Now this is when you do, um, um, you know, the rubber carving and all that sort of stuff. It's a barren. It's a little plastic barren. And you rub on your paper once you've um, put your print down. And you can also use this to, to rub it as well. So I grabbed them two things. They were cheap on Timu. Those. I also grabbed a... Look at these. These are beautiful, beautiful sequins. I've got two packets of these. Just show you what they look like. They're so shiny. So shiny and pretty. So I grabbed them and drag it in there. Yeah, we've just been laying low and enjoying this the time. The time we can have together. Not doing a whole lot. Um I also got some of these came in the mail be just before Christmas too. Now it's not the whole set of what I need, but I'll get the rest of them another time. But they are the ink oxide reinkers. They're all the they're the colours to what I have. So I think I've got to get another probably five that they they didn't have yeah, in stock. So but I've got those reinkers. That'll be cool. And then um, what else am I looking at? Oh, Santa came. <laughs> when we were when we were having our Christmas day with um, Asha and Judah, I'll just put you up this a little bit more. Um, Santa made an appearance, and he was giving out presents. And so we're watching the kids, and we were having fun watching the kids. Asha didn't want to look at Santa. <laughs> Judah, Judah went, heard Santa coming down the hall, ran up the hall, started crying and ran back down the hall to mummy, <laughs> crying his eyes out. <laughs> but Santa, sneaky Santa, had a present for Graham, which I did not expect. I'll show you the box because it's too um, big to show you the rest of it. Look what Santa got me. Oh. Santa got me a sewing machine. I didn't know you all were shocked. I said to him, oh, need a new sewing machine one day because I've been using my daughter's, my daughter's old sewing machine that she bought, she got second hand and it's something that, that Noah's wife would have taken onto the ark. <laughs> it's that old. And, um, and I said to him, oh, it'd be nice to have a new... Because I've never had 
a good quality sewing machine. And um, Sneak, <laughs> he's a sneak. He went, I know he went to Spotlight Christmas Eve. What did you get a Spotlight for Christmas Eve? Something else. Oh, he bought a Spotlight card. He bought a gift card for, for our daughter. That's why he had to go there. <laughs> yeah, he got this. Ah, oh, he's a sneak. So I was shocked off my socks when Santa came in with this big parcel. I was, I thought it was for the boys. I didn't know. I had no idea. And then he gave the, all the boys their things, and this big package is sitting there. And he goes, "Graham, come and sit on my lap." <laughs> He was dressed up in all Santa stuff. <laughs> and he gave me this. <laughs> oh, isn't it cool? Oh, so excited. So I spent the holidays reading the instructions because I want to <laughs> learn how to use it. I've never had a a um a computerized one, so that's gonna be <laughs> interesting to use. <laughs> now I also got a bag of things through Timu. I'll show you what they are. I got a pack of these, um, what do you call them? Hmm, fast food like things, you know, like fast food wrappers. Like you um, you might see in a like oh it's almost like not tissue paper it's almost like oh it's very crinkly isn't it but i thought i would get these to use in my junk journaling it's almost like that um baking paper but it's got a newsprint on it i thought that is cool i was just having a look around at all that sort of stuff and i thought well what could i get that you know in this section that would be usable like that so I got them love the crinkly feel of them and I also got a pack of white cupcake um, liners and I didn't realize this was so much but a pack of the brown ones as well now I've seen people do things with all these brown cupcake wrappers so I thought they would be cool to use in junk journaling. Okay. I've seen people make little dresses out of these, you know, little olden day dresses. And I thought, well the brown is going to be cool for that. And I thought, well I'll just get some white with it as well. So there was that. I got a pack of these, they are tea bag, um, tea bag satchels. Like that. And I thought, oh, these could be cool used for something as well. So I got that and then I got a pack of coffee filters that would be cool to do things with And a pack of these, what were these ones? There was, they were some other sort of filter, I think. I can't think of what it was now. But they're just circles. Oh, they like the coffee one, but they're just circles. Okay. And then I got a pack of these, um... 
the air fryer. Um, what do you call it? You know, like baking paper. And that's what that looks like. So I thought these would be all be interesting to have a play with in junk journaling. And so they were my um, bits and pieces I got from Timu in the cooking section to um, to use in my junk journaling. So it pays to have a look in that section in Timu to see what you can find and what you could use as well in your junk journaling. All right, so that's me. I hope you have a great New Year's Eve, New Year party, whatever you're doing for New Year's. If you're going to party hard, do it right. <laughs> and if you're having a quiet one, then enjoy your night. We're going to have just a quiet one with the doggo. <laughs> and um yeah that, that's okay <laughs> and um i'll see you in the new year with hopefully lots more videos i'll get my mojo back whether it kills me or not <laughs> and um i'll see you real soon for new videos happy new year for 2023 and may 2024 be a wonderful year for you all. Bye.